Can the internet ever get enough of this man and his incredible talent Bye. and growing skill? He has a voice that is um, beyond any voice I've really ever heard before. It's Dimash. He looks tortured. It's a beautiful string line as well. There is so much I could say already. How he started with a really audible, <gasps> as if it, it's, it's an emotional breath, you know? And then going in, <sighs> and let, letting the breath be part of the sound. The breath continues after the singing and you hear that. <sighs> and that one phrase where it wasn't so breathy, then suddenly it felt so intense. Just that one single phrase because it was different than the rest. Amazing. Oh, it's so controlled. And then less breathy-ish. Okay, before he goes mass, oh, these dynamics are so brilliant. He's using something really cool called cry. It, you can kind of try this as two of these, is cry, which is often combined with a heightened larynx or a bit more of a dopey sound, which people call sob. Some people don't make a difference between them and some people do, or don't define them differently. Um, I think his was more of a sob, but you hear that in that sort of sound. I sounded like a whale, I think, when I just did that. The nuance. He has access to so many different textures um, and tones and iterations of mix and head voice. Sometimes it's got some of those lower harmonics, it makes it really warm. Sometimes it really cuts through. But what I'm really enjoying here is, well, that breathy tone. Um, but to the control and this paired back feeling, I'm sure he's gonna show off the crazy things that he can do with his voice. Um, but it's nice to get this extended um, introduction where you know, you know, you know what he can do and you're waiting for it, but actually in some ways pairing it back uh, it, it shows self-awareness, it shows control, both technically and um, just in taste, I suppose. It's so disciplined. Mm. I mean, look. He just did his own echo. <laughs> ah, 
um, he's just doing that by literally moving his mouth further away from the microphone. And uh, oh, this, ah, this dynamic. Okay, uh, I, I will stop stopping this, but I saw something really interesting. Again, you saw, oh, e. I don't know this language. I don't even know what language this is in. He was like on an E and he moved his lips forward. Um, that elongates your vocal tract, giving you a little bit of a warmer sound. If he wants that lighter, brighter sound, his lips are back and relaxed. So actually the position of the lips can make a huge difference to the tone. So if you're like, Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, play around with it. Like I just did and look kind of strange. <laughs> Here he goes. Escape me emotionally. sometimes find with Dimash is that he is so technically proficient that you get so drawn in with that that um you know it becomes all about the technique and this ama the amazing things he can do with his voice but here I'm getting drawn into the emotion and it's really nice to see this side of him to see that more you know when someone's so proficient at singing um you can lose that vulnerability sometimes um he feels, I, I'm getting that vulnerability here. He's allowing himself to go a little bit more to the edge, which is, is really nice to see. And now he's back to Elf, <laughs> Dimash. His voice is beyond what can be. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. Every time I hear him, I'm just like, <sighs> too good. <laughs> allowing stuff to be thrown away to be uh, messy it's not messy in that he has control over where he's putting that mess in but he's allowing it to be a little bit imperfect because he is so perfect all the time it's so refreshing to see him like this actually to be fragile to throw this big note away and just be like ah oh, I'm gonna go for it not like this, uh, he always goes for it. He just normally has so much control about him. I love, I love this new side to him. I don't know if it's a new side. It's a new side that I've seen to him anyway. That's so good. Oh my 
my goodness, it gets me. I'm lost for words. <laughs> he has one of the most technically impressive voices I've ever heard, but this is the first time I feel like he, to me, has got me straight in the feels. Like often I'm just like, wow, and it's so impressive. But this was like, whew. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.